Good morning, welcome back from the break. You are still on Life and Style, and now it's my favorite segment, or at least I like to call it that, books and blogs. And this morning we are privileged to have this lady who dropped her European name, she does not like it, and opted to use uh, her name, her father's name, and her husband's name. So I would want you to introduce yourself so that you can tell us why you made those choices. My name is Wanjala. Mm -hmm. Wanjala Mshila, CEO as she said. Okay. Mshila is my father. CEO is my husband. Okay. Yeah. So why did you choose to have your father's name and your husband's name amongst your names? Because most, most people, what most people do when they get married is perhaps just use their husband's name, I think. Okay, I think it's important to use your father's name. Okay. Because I'll always be my father's daughter. Your father's girl, yeah. I'm always my father's girl. Yeah until the end of time. <laughs> you know, sometimes people change husbands, but I love my husband. Your father will never change. No, but my father will never change. Okay, you know. and you're a mother of how many children? I'm a mother of three children. Yeah. A daughter, okay. a son, and a daughter, the one sitting here. The one who's come here to support you. Yeah. What's her name? She's very beautiful. Seba Bali. Who? Seba Bali. Seba Bali? Yeah. That sounds Ugandan. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very nice. So and I have a granddaughter, one and a half years. She's also called Wanjala. You do not look like a grandmother. Oh, I am. Well, you've taken really good care of yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you. I want us to talk about uh, your books, and you have quite a number, and I know there's one really close to your heart, and, and we'll be discussing the genesis of that book, which is The Law of Success. Adapted for Africa. Adapted for, for Africa. Africa. Mm. So let's talk about what inspired the authorship of this book. Okay, one, I am a teacher by profession. Yes. I taught for quite a while, but as I was teaching, I realized it is so monotonous. How many it's, years were you a teacher? I taught for 16 years. Wow. Okay. Then I became an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Actually, now I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. I run an agency where we take students who want to do hospitality management mm -hmm. in the top schools in the world. You take them um, take out them of Kenya? Out of Kenya. Wow. We take them to Switzerland, mm -hmm. we take them to UK, we take them to Spain and Australia. That's and amazing. now we have expanded to the US. Wow. Then I'm also a co-founder of International Hotel and Tourism Institute. In fact, our students, I understand, are doing very well here mm -hmm. on internship. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have your students in this hotel? Yeah. Wow. Right now, in fact, some came and said hello. Said hi, yeah. So how do you move from a teacher, and, and, and I digress a bit, mm -hmm. from a teacher to an entrepreneur in the hospitality industry? Maybe by osmosis. My husband <laughs> was the, the principal of Kenya Utali College oh. those many years. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so kind it of came to I you. Got, yeah, I <laughs> and got you got it, it and ran it. with it. And ran with it. And started businesses. Yeah. So in the school at International Hotel and Tourism Institute, yeah. I teach character, which is the basis of our subject today. Okay. Yeah. You teach character. Yeah. I have never met anybody who teaches character. Mm. What is the syllabus like? Okay. This is now what we are trying to introduce into schools, schools in Kenya. Yes. Because we are saying it's the missing gap uh -huh. in our education system. We are very academic. We are into geography and history and mathematics, but the foundation that makes a human being we are not paying attention to. Mm -hmm. You may find it being taught here and there, mm -hmm. but wherever it is actually emphasized, yeah. the school or the institution uh, has an edge over the other institutions. Mm. In fact, I can say we pay a lot of attention to character at International Hotel and Tourism Institute. Okay. We call it IHTI. Right. And we have very, very good students. Our um, Mm, employment rate, we have like 90, up 95 percent, I'd say, employment of our rate. students just get employed. And you, because character has Because a lot of the character, there. punctuality, how you dress, how you speak to people, how you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that we are talking about, we are going to talk about. Okay, today. let's start talking about them. This okay. is a perfect time. Okay, this is mm. a good time. Yeah. Now, um, character is a very wide, I'd say. You can't even say you can teach character in one day because it's a thread that you must weave every day mm. to develop your character. You can't develop character overnight. Yeah. So as I said, it is the missing link in our education system. And um, 
being, having been a teacher, I taught in a school that paid a lot of attention to character at the same time as they did academics. Okay. So that you found the students who have gone through that school then, I don't know about mm -hmm. now, have done very well. Okay. They may not have been A or B material, but they, they carried themselves well. Yes. And they did whatever talent they had, performed it to the best of their capability. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So you say character is a component that's missing in our school system. That's today. missing in our school system. Let me give you an example. Please. Our program is very much related to something that has been done and has been proved. In 2010, mm. I think after the 0708 mishaps, yeah, okay. um, a gentleman, Dr. Manu Chandaria, okay. founded um, mm -hmm. Global Peace Foundation. Maybe mm -hmm. you have heard of it. Yes. Their signature initiative or their flagship is Character and Creativity Initiative. Mm -hmm. And they did a pilot project 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013. And actually the pilot project was carried by the government with KIPRA, Kenya Institute mm -hmm. of Public, Private, Private um, Association, whatever. Yeah. But it's a research <laughs> foundation. Yes. So anyway, they carried it for three years and they were instilling character in those seven schools. They took the best schools, best in quotes, mm -hmm. the middle schools <laughs> and Why the slum in schools. In quotes, because one of the schools that they did was a slum school. Okay. So we can't compare a slum school to an international, an inter school. An in a national school, for example. Okay. Yeah. But whatever they introduced, if I take an example mm -hmm. of the slum school, mm -hmm. over, over that three, three year period, the school changed. It had, had 120 student population. Wow. People never wanted to take their girls there. Yeah. But in three years, it was 600 and something. It had changed, even now it started getting donations from international bodies. It actually, um, I can say the school culture changed. The vice, you know, where students would boo at teachers and not come to school Stop. and maybe take drugs. All those actually are almost eliminated okay. just by intro the introduction of character. Yes. Even the teachers became different and they are not be being given any more salary, but just by them looking at their inside through that character development, they started going to school at five in the morning and nobody's pushing them. So if this is the missing component. Wow. So anyway, when they were launching it in 2013, I saw it in the papers. And that's when my book had just come from KICD. I had taken it to KICD for vetting, and it was vetted and approved. Yeah. Under the category of um, contemporary and emerging issues. Contemporary and emerging issues are very wide. You can't pinpoint, for example, terrorism is something that was not there. It's a contemporary and emerging yes. issue. So anyway, when I saw that in the papers, I looked for their office. I went to the Global Peace Foundation. I told them what I saw in the papers is what has just come out in my book. So what can we do? Together. So I gave them a few of the copies. Okay. And they said, we have this um, flagship program, Character and Creativity Initiative. Actually, can we use your book mm. as, as a fundamental ingredient in in the promotion of this program. Yes. And in fact, in that, um, in that launch, Dr. Kaimeni, then the Minister mm -hmm. for Education, mm -hmm. said we need to cascade this program across the country. But you know, people are, are not so good at picking solutions. I think all over the world. Solutions are there, but people are not very... They are a bit slow in They are a bit accepting. slow in yes. accepting. Yes. You can see this is the solution, yes. but the bureaucracy and mm. stuff. But we have made some progress, I can say. Okay. Yeah. So when I went there, I told them, this is the book. Dr. Manu Chandaria picked wow. one of it. And he gave it a forward. In fact, this one now has a forward by, by Dr. Dr. Manu, Manu Chandaria. Wow. So since people don't know, I mean, who knows who yes. Anjala is. Yes. But once they saw that somebody forward by Dr. Manu, by Manu Chandaria, yeah. in fact, I had tried to take it to textbook center. They said no, no. Okay, they Why? didn't say no, but but they were but bitter. But when they saw that it had manus, they name. asked me, "Is this book in the you know book, bookstore?" I said no. They found it at the our book um, exhibition uh -huh. of the Kenya Publishers Association. Yeah. I had a stand. Wow. I told them no. So they said, "Bring it. We start talking." So right now you can get a copy from 
textbook center, from textbook center any of their branches i think Sarit the center, Sarit center yeah, yeah maybe as we grow yeah yeah so so this is our background okay mm. i take note of the little uh, wording there adapted for africa adapted for africa because this is an adapted book it's not originally my book but i say the japanese did not invent the engine and they have modified it now every car in front is a toyota mm -hmm. so and someone said why invent the ordinary when you can copy genius <laughs> so there are many many things out there we africans are afraid of going and exploring them and modifying them. and modifying yeah. them everybody is coming to africa and modifying our gold mm. and we are poor mm. the person i was talking to this morning mm -hmm. i was just wondering he was telling me what it does uh -huh. and i'm saying why is it we can't do it uh. so anyway this is what this program is about okay yeah so wangela tell me your book why is it not like the first book our students buy when going to school now you see this is the thing mm -hmm. we are so academic in the sense that we want our children to pass geography so if it is not in the syllabus if it's not geography it's not history it is not science, science, science or maths, the yeah. teachers the teachers won't pick it the parent won't pick it because every parent wants their child to get an a to get a b but that character foundation is not okay it is there but mm. we are so interested in an a and in a b and yet 50 percent of our children are getting d plus so you even ask is it that our children have something wrong is it the parents is it the teachers there is something wrong in that system mm. that creates half the children to get d plus and they are our children they are my sons and my daughters and my nephews yes so we need to do something and here is something we have done. Yeah. So in the new curriculum development, where they are talking about is it 2244, mm -hmm. we are saying that is very important, but the most important is the content. And we had suggested, we sent suggestions to KICD. Mm -hmm. We told them, at least as a success for Africa, I yeah. forgot to tell you that this book came out of an organization we call Success for yes, Africa. Yes, yes which was founded on the premise that Africa has no business going hungry, being poor, engaging in conflict, and seeking refuge in foreign lands. Africa has every business being educated, free, and prosperous. And by education, Shane, we are saying it's not schooling. You can go to school and be very primitive. So education and schooling have to be kind of differentiated. Mm. differentiated. Mm. So this program is about education. Mm. What you can do with what you have in your background, yeah. with what you have in your neighborhood, in your environment. I'm looking at uh, some of the content topics that you have here. Um, brain power, mastermind, the principle of a definite chief aim. Chief aim. There's quite a lot that's not even just relevant for students, but even just for everybody. Everyone. Mm -hmm. It applies to everyone. It does. But uh, let's discuss one I find very intriguing, which is the principle of capitalizing on failure. Capitalizing on failure. In fact, it's one of my favorites. Oh. You know, we spank children because they are failing in so many areas academics, they have missed something, but you don't want to find out why they have missed. Uh -huh. And a lot of the time, if it is after you have failed something that you can polish, that you can improve on it. And a lot of people who are in entrepreneurship, I can tell you they didn't get it the first time around. They, they make mistakes, several. they failed several times. Yeah. And as you fail, you find out what it is that made you fail. In fact, in the book here mm -hmm. we say, it is the universal language of correcting you of correcting a person, a family, a nation, and even the world. Mm. Where we go wrong, mm. we have to make right after we have gone, yes. a lot of the time after we have gone yes. wrong. Yeah. And that topic discusses how to do yeah. that. Yeah, and the good thing with this book and program, we actually call it a program, because every lesson has exercises for young people to do. So it's not just sitting, sitting in the classroom. And we are calling it program because 
as we sent our ideas to the KICD, we told them we need to get young people out of the classroom so that they don't sit from eight to five and sometimes they sit on Saturday and Sunday. I mean, where are we taking them to? So we, we suggested to them that Mondays, for example, in the morning they can do academics, but afternoon they can do documentaries. Mm. We have collected a lot of documentaries as a successful Africa yeah. from many, many organizations. BBC, even Nation and KTN. Yes. We have some, if you allow us, we shall take them to school. Okay. Many, many documentaries on so many topics that if a child saw, it would have a better impact than being reading it in a book or being told by a teacher. Mm. For example, the problem of drug use and drug misuse. You see a program like one from National Geographic, Baghdad Abroad. Someone tried to sell drugs only once and you can see how they are crying when they are in jail mm. or wherever they will be in that mishap. So you see, if they had seen this kind of thing before, they may not do it again. Yeah. And then we have documentaries about environment, yes. about health, about uh, foods. A lot of foods that are making people sick. Mm. If they can be, if children can see. So anyway, on Mondays we are suggesting let us collect documentaries and let children see this afternoon. And we are telling them on Tuesdays, let us go through books. Every child reads a book and looks at it and, mm. and they, they, they review. Yes. In fact, I was reading a book by Chinua Achebe, the child of a British protectorate. Mm -hmm. If you find it, please read it, Okay. the audience. It says somewhere that in the school that Chinua Achebe was, their principal, some British principal, yeah. had an act, he called it a uh, textbook act, mm -hmm. that on this day, you don't read a textbook. You have to look for a novel, look for a magazine, look for anything but a anything textbook. But a textbook. Yeah. And he says, no wonder that is the generation that produced African liter li literature or developed African literature. Those are the, that was the school that produced Chinwachebe, produced um, Amadi, this man who wrote The Concubine, Elechi Amadi. Yes. It produced Flora Nwoi, I think. It produced, wow, I can't these remember, giants. all these giants mm. that created the African literature yes. of the day. So we need to get into that system. And if every child comes with a novel, not everybody needs to buy 10 novels. True. Yeah and a magazine, by the end of the term, everybody will have read a book. Yeah. Then now we are telling them on Wednesdays, I hope somebody is listening out there. We are telling them on Wednesdays, let's have a, an afternoon for creation and recreation. And by the way, recreation is um, to recreate, to do it again, or even recreation, music, dancing, the creation of musical instruments even, the creation of songs, just so that people can do something else. Arts, yes. um, even as I say, dancing. Dancing is very healthy. It is. We, in my high school, we used to dance every Sunday afternoon. Wow, were dance well, you a good dancer? I am a good dancer, oh. ask my daughter. Even now? Even now, I mm. love dancing. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I dance. <laughs> okay, so before we even uh, wind up, I want to ask to quickly discuss your two other books. Okay. Uh, you're not just a one book author, you mm. have others as well. Yeah. So let's talk about them quickly as we wind up. Okay. I'm seeing the Environment Restoration Journal. Yes. What's that about? This about is also has gone through KICD and been vetted and approved. Okay. We want it to go to schools so that once a, a month, students can, every child should plant a tree mm. and grow a tree and give it a virtue, the virtue that they think they're lacking. If it's hard work, if it is discipline as they nurture the discipline they nurture that tree by the time they're leaving school wow. they have uh, they wow. have left a, that character they have developed well. that character in yeah. them and they have left a plant in the school that is what that book is about and many other has other it started things. going out to school no in fact we are requesting for sponsors out there tell them please sponsor this book and we shall carry you a your logo or your message to the youth. It also has a forward by the NEMA 
GM. Okay, the yeah. number GM has done a forward. Has done a forward. That's a powerful book. Mm, very, very good book. And the Losafa concept. The Losafa is the short form of law of success adapted for Africa. Hey. Yeah, so it's the concept. It's like a guide to what to we this. are talking about. So it's a guide to this big mm, one. Yeah. I think, and I like the, the design, how you've done the design. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, you Thank have you. style, eh? <laughs> yeah, my daughter is an architect, the older one. Ooh. So she's the one who does a oh, lot of She does this. all of these cover designs. She did. <laughs> okay. Mm. So uh, what is what would your last uh, word be to any parent watching? Because maybe you may not have access through schools, but, yeah. you know, we have parents who watch or, you know, yes, parents, people with, with children who would want to get their hands on this copy or even have a one-on-one -on -one with you or your organization, okay. Success for Africa. Mm -hmm. Could you please let them know how they can find you? Okay, you can find the book at, as I said, at um, textbook, textbook Center. Center. You can also find the book at the International Hotel and Tourism Institute. Okay. We have copies there. You can also get me at wanjala at successforafrica.org. Or you can get me on phone 070-999-740. Okay, That's easy. say that again. 70 999740. Perfect. If yeah. you did not get any of those contacts, not to worry, they're on your screen or you can go to our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well using hashtag Katie and Life and Style. I must let you know this is a book that if, if you know you have a child or you're a child, you need this book to develop your character. I have not had anything like this before and I've interviewed a couple of authors but to just uh, listen to this wonderful lady who has developed a book that can be used even in our high schools primary schools as part of the curriculum and the core message is character I think it's phenomenal so very well done thank you and thank you so much for coming to our show today thank you don't go too far we are at Dusidi to Nairobi and when we come back it will be time for restaurant of the week